This video explains how to fix your printer when the ink carriage stalls and a carriage jam error message displays on the printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams later in this video. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Do not remove jam paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push the right side of the duplexer to the left and then pull out the duplexer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the duplexer for any jams. Open the duplexer by pressing the two tabs on each side of the duplexer. Remove any jammed paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, insert the two pegs on the left side of the duplexer into the left side of the printer and then push the duplexer into place. Make sure the duplexer is firmly attached. If you cannot remove jammed paper from the back, we will attempt to remove it from the paper trays. Return to the front of the printer. Raise the paper output tray. Grasp any jammed paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Open the cartridge access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get any small pieces that might tear off. 
Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. When you've removed all of the paper, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be powered on for these steps to work. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Close the output tray. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage will move to the center of the printer. Turn to the back. While the printer is still powered on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for paper or other obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing. Remove any paper that is found. If the paper tears when you remove it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach inside the printer through the cartridge access door and then manually move the carriage. Remove any obstructions that are found while moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, 
Touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. The printer must still be powered on for these steps to work. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage moves to the center of the printer. Allow the carriage to stop moving. Then, select the cartridge to remove and press the tab on the front of the cartridge to release it. Lift the first cartridge out to remove it from the slot. Repeat until all cartridges are removed. When handling the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink port. Be careful not to touch the contacts or ink port because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Once all cartridges are removed, you can lift the latch handle on the carriage. Lift the print head assembly out of the printer. Make sure that you do not leave the printhead assembly or the cartridges out of the printer for longer than 5 minutes. Leaving them out for an extended period of time can dry up the ink ports on the cartridges or nozzles on the printhead assembly. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage. Use a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Once all obstructions are removed, you can reinstall the printhead assembly. Hold the printhead assembly upright with the color-coded icons on the top and lower it into the carriage. Carefully lower the latch handle on the carriage, making sure that it is fully closed. Holding the cartridge by its sides with the contacts facing the printhead assembly, slide it directly into the correct open slot. Push the cartridge down into the slot until it's firmly in place. Repeat for all cartridges. When all cartridges are in, lower the cartridge access door of the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then, plug it back into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on.
align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be powered on for these steps to work. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.